Hello everyone and welcome to another texture pack review. Uh, to be precise, my third one. Uh, just wow, I, I already have three more requests including this one after I made those two reviews. And since they're possible and they're sensible, I, I can't refuse. Um, so this is called Fantasy Bloom Texture Pack. It's a 32-bit texture pack by I'm number four and that's his name and texture pack looks quite nice terrain looks pretty cool except for the water which has uh, I can't this I can't explain how it looks to me but it's a little bit messed up uh, if if the developer wanted to make a texture pack look like this well he can do it uh, so this is a dark fantasy texture pack uh, as he described it and the tools are the same like the icons are for most items are the same uh, except for the blocks which are probably all of them are changed uh, and we'll take a closer look we were just looking at the terrain and the terrain is pretty nice sand from afar looks pretty also nice but when you get close enough you see waves oh and let's see how the night looks like the moon uh, the moon just the moon let's see how the moon looks like same thing probably only the uh, the blocks are changed Okay, now I know what a compass is for. So here's the cow. Quite a little bit of texture. Sheep, the sheep is the same. Can't show you the pig and chicken because they're nowhere nearby. Uh, so I like I like the lava in this texture pack. Uh, I kind of like the lava. Except that you can see a bunch of pixels. It's not that smooth, but I like how it looks from a distance. Looks quite nice. Now, let's start from the beginning. This is the redstone. Again, I like the redstone because uh, the redstone isn't fat, unlike the other the original texture pack and I, I like thin I like thin lines of redstone I don't like when they're spread half across the block this is um, power rail when it's powered and it looks like it's not powered on this stage but it actually is it's actually powered I can't show you the negative of the redstone torch because it takes a while to set it up. Uh, now you see what a chicken looks like. It looks like a hunting duck. And this is the redstone that isn't powered. This is obsidian, which looks a little bit like a nether portal block. Is that? Oh, this this is a sponge. Yeah, this is a sponge. You might not understand that this is a sponge. It actually is. I don't know why it's blue. Perhaps it's not texture compatible. Uh, this is sand. Again, I really don't like the... Well, I like how it's just a tiny little bit wavy, but I don't like when there's waves at all. But I'm glad that he didn't make it more visible and stuff like that normal stone which looks quite nice it looks smoother than how people call it in the original texture pack uh, this is grass and it looks pretty nice when you've got the better grass mod and you got this grass it looks pretty cool it's not that short it's not that long this is a jukebox. It looks strange for some reason. Uh, this is bedrock. And 
this is gravel. This is sandstone. This is cobblestone. It looks more like brickstone or something. Even though I know it's cobble that makes up the stone, but it looks bricky. Uh, this is the wood. I like dark wood, even the dark wooden textures. But I like it when it's more natural, but still, I like this. The wood texture looks like it's pretty old. And it's a good job, because I don't know how to make any block old. Uh, any block look old. Uh, this is glass. It's pretty nice. Although, it can be corrected by deleting those lines. But it's alright. It's fine for a greenhouse. This is lapis ore. And it's pretty easy to miss it. Uh, I mean, it just uh, look at the rock. Now look at the lapis. It's dark and it's completely concealed. So it's pretty hard to see. This is mossy cobblestone. We fill in the spaces with some moss. This is bookshelf. I like the books, but I don't really like the wood that comes for it. I really like the bricks. I mean, I don't know why. I just like the bricks. Perhaps it's how it's colored. And it's tiled nicely, but mostly it's because of the color. This is stone slabs. Kind of like it. It's this. Oh, that's iron. Because this is wool and this is gold. Iron looks pretty nice, but you can't understand that it's actually iron when you first make it. This is wool, which looks a bit cloudy. Because look at those circles and the spiral. And I like how the gold also doesn't have a butter effect, but it has more of a brick effect. Uh, lapis lazuli looks a bit like like the wall it's cloudy only it's less visible uh, coal looks a little bit like diamonds because it's bright and stuff like that uh, this is iron which looks like silver and this is gold I like the ores except for the lapis lazuli because it's too dark an old block which is pretty much the same thing as a jukebox Uh, this is the pistons. I really don't care about pistons to be honest. This is the dispenser. You need a dispenser here. Team Fortress 2 reference. Uh, this is a monster spawner. It's hard to make out what's inside spawning, but since I put this, uh, it's supposed to be default pig. This is a large chest. The interface is the same. The diamond looks pretty nice. It's just a big chunk of it. Still, I like the diamond texture as well. This is the crafting table. Strange how it looks like a crate with some cloth on top of it and it has no tools on it. Still, redstone, which looks like a bunch of dots on rock. This is the button, this is the pressure pan, I like the, I like how the iron door is, um, you can see what's through it, but it's, uh, not so easy, but still, you could still see what's through it, oh, and if you can notice that there is a visible line, and, let me just show you the empty sign. See, empty sign. Extra pack is pretty cool. Uh, this is the door. I like how I like how there's another big window right on the top and the bottom. This used to be a farmland block, but. You know, since it's a desert, it doesn't have so much rain. It's the furnaces. We 
got fences. We got a pumpkin. It's completely concealed. That's like a normal pumpkin. Uh, this is... Oh, by the way, torches look kind of weird when you pick it up as an item. But if, if you look at a correct angle, they look pretty nice. Yes, this was actually soul sand. Oh, uh, there was netherrack here, but I destroyed it for some reason. This is glowstone. This this was ice. I'll show you ice in the end. This is snow. Random egg. Oh, I actually spawned a chicken. That was a lucky one. And I like the bed, especially how it's colored. Blue is my favorite color, and I I like the bed. And this is a jack o' lantern, which looks like a sapling carved into it. And this is a trapdoor. Like the trapdoor because it has a large visible window on it. And these are almost all of the blocks. This is the ladder. If I haven't said anything about it. Oh, and the cacti. It has a lot of cactus flowers on it. Just a lot. And diamond ar the armor is the same, nothing changed. And I remember ice was somewhere right there. While I'm walking, I'll give you my conclusion, my final thoughts on it. Um, this texture pack is pretty nice, although it's quite dark. Yes, it's pretty dark. And it's especially dark in the night. And it's well, the textures, but the lighting it's it's quite it's quite dark. If you if you like dark fantasy texture packs, this one is for you. Uh, otherwise, there are better texture packs out there. I was just wandering around. All right, so where was that ice? Oh, right there. So if you like fantasy texture packs, dark fantasy texture packs, as what he said, this is for you. If not, then you can pick up something better, like LB4 of Realism. That one's a beautiful texture pack, I should say. Uh, anyways, this was the 32-bit texture pack. And I wonder what is this? This is clay. And it looks kind of strange. It's red, it looks velvet. So, and finally, here's the ice. Looks a bit like it has lightning on it, but still, ice is not bad. Could have been better though. So, yes, uh, this was my review of Fantasy Bloom Texture Pack. Which is a 32 bit texture pack it requires mc patcher in order to use it and it's pretty easy to install or like every single texture pack and well i'll see you guys in the next video